BTFC one dad is running with the Ricky boss Dean Brennan. Uh, Dean, would you say it's quite frust this is a frustrating game that we didn't win today? It is and it isn't. You know, we had quite a lot of elements against us today. We felt we should have took a two 0 lead. We had a goal chalked off for no reason. We felt we had a clear handball in the first half as well from a free kick from Callum Kenny that would have given us a penalty. Um, and I suppose, in a sense, they had one great chance in the first half, which Jules has had to make a save in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. But the rest of it, really, we should we should have put the game to bed, to be honest with you, in the first half. Uh, Dulwich have a certain style and philosophy, which I spoke about in my programme notes, and they'll stick to that no matter what. And we never managed to get that second goal or third goal to go put the game to bed. So, were we punished for that? No. In a sense, we didn't get beat. They scored a fantastic goal. You know, I'm talking about a referee again. It's just embarrassing. You know, have we had a penalty since I've been here? Seven games? How many goals to score? We don't even look like getting a penalty. And realistically, we felt we should have had three penalties, three stroke four penalties within the game. So if it's the inside the post where we should have scored, they had one clear off the line. But really, on opportunities and chances, I think we had the better of them. We definitely had the better. Uh, Ross had another good opportunity. Uh, Cunz had a great chance when he came on. Um, but a little bit, a slight bit disappointed. But then again, if you look at all the players that are injured, and you look who's that injured at the minute, um, our two centre halves that played on Wednesday night weren't available to play today. Uh, well, Hales he played and come off, but Dowie's obviously a big loss. So, with the injuries we've had, it ain't a bad point. And, and obviously, with the refereeing decisions we had today, we could have lost the game. Well, you, you were talking about the referee said there's a challenge over there where the Dulwich guy tries, he literally dives and handballs it. What did you make of that? It's a great save, wasn't it? <laughs> You know, it's, just, it's, um, it's ah, just criminal, really. Criminal officiating when, when the, uh, the four, uh, not the fourth official, what do they call them? men now, whatever they call them. And the funny thing is for them, they'll watch the video back, no doubt they will, and they'll cringe when they watch it. Yeah. You know, they'll cringe when they watch it. The, one, the biggest one for me is, is, is the goal disallowed. That makes it 2-0. It's like, you know, they disallowed Sammy Dearden's goal when, you know, it just is what it is. So, can't get too frustrated. We've got to move on to the next, um, which is East Turek. Learned slightly a bit from today. We could have handled the ball a little bit better at times in transition. Um, a little bit sloppy at times with our possession. Um, but give them, they're a good side, you know. They're a good side. They sh if they can play like that every week, they'd be in the top three. Yeah. So I think it's important that, you know, they have to have a little look at themselves and ask, them, ask themselves why they ain't that in, in that position as well. So, But they're a good side, good philosophy. Um, a lot of speed. I have to say, that goal was magnificent. A fantastic goal. So that's what it takes to get a point at air place. Um, you know, that's what it takes. Yeah. Um, obviously, Dean, the, thing, the frustrating thing for you is, you know, as fans, you always go, if the manager made this change a bit earlier and everything, but we are creating a lot of chances and we're not finishing them. Yeah, look, that'll come, you know. The day we stop creating chances, the day we've got to get worried. Um, I'm a supporter as well, you know. This is my yeah, football yeah. club now. This will be in my blood. Uh, I go home and think about it like you, you guys do. I take it home to my family, to my three kids and, and, and my other half, you know. I won't stop thinking about it. Um, I don't think there's a lot we could have done more today, apart from be a little bit better in possession. Yeah. Switch the bottom side to side a little bit better um, and obviously take your chances. But... Once we keep creating chances, we'll be all right. When we get people like Jake Robinson back and people like that, and Ross Lafayette and Jake's up front in, in the top line, you know, we're going to be a handful for anybody. Since you've came in as manager, what's one thing you've seen the squad uh, improve on the most? Uh, fitness levels have been much stronger. We've ended games really well. The last two games, we ended up really well on Wednesday. Um, and just uh, my philosophy, really, which is to play on the front, the front foot, you know, and, and press the ball quite high. Um, I think I still think we, I still believe we should have used the possession a little bit better today. Got to move the ball a little bit slicker, some less touches, more passes. But um, once we get it right and we get everybody back, you know, it's a, it's a long season. Uh, we'll win a lot of games of football. And one question a lot of fans are asking, obviously I'm lucky enough to interview you, is yeah. Alfie Potter, is he injured? He's injured, yeah, yeah, yeah. So literally Alfie's injured, Dowie's injured, Ricky Hales is injured, uh, Jake Robinson's injured, Connor Hunt's injured. Uh, who else? There's, I think there's six of them. Uh, Ricky Modest. So there's a list as long as you're armed that probably all of them walk into their team. So are in and around, the, you know, the 16. So, um, yeah, and it's a good point. You know, we've managed to get through in the FA Cup without Jake. We're not, listen, Jake's the hottest property in non-league for scoring goals. So, um, and everyone knows how much I love him, you know, and we want to play, build a team around players like Jake. So, um, yeah, it's it's a decent point. We got to make sure it's a really good point by making sure we get three points on on Tuesday night. 
and Jake Robinson obviously was kicking the ball around today. Is he close to coming yeah, back? I think he, we've got a good opportunity of him back in the next in the next week or so, hopefully. Alright, thanks Dean. Alright lads, thanks a million. Have a good weekend guys. Thank you, mate.